understanding user intent and why user intent is important. A little while ago in the SEO basics section of this checklist, I talked about RankBrain and how RankBrain uses searches and user behavior metrics to understand what people want. Here, I typed in the word Panda, just like I did in the RankBrain example. Within Panda, the search Panda, there's different things that can show up. Panda Express, a restaurant, giant panda, a bear, panda security software company, the video for a music, uh, a music video that's, that people were interested in a while ago called D uh, Panda. Now this actually ranked number one back in 2016. It showed up number one on Google above all this other stuff. But why is it down here now? Why is it in the video section? Depending on how popular something is or how highly searched something is will usually determine how it ranks. That's why understanding user intent is so important these days. If I look up Donald during the elections, chances are Donald Trump's going to come up. If I were to look this up maybe five years ago before Donald Trump was the president, I might have seen Donald Duck. I don't know. I, I don't have a way of looking at the history of this, but the point I'm trying to make here is that a lot of times people will just try to rank for keywords because they think it has a high search, but they won't understand why people are actually searching for that keyword. This is why I think it's so important to take your keywords and again, use something like Google Trends and see what's really trending around those terms. If I type the word panda in here, press search, I can see that for some reason, I don't know why, Panda Express Family Meal Deal is really uh, trending and so is Panda Eye, eyes abuse. So the more something is searched and the variations of that thing is searched, maybe it's Panda Meal Deal, even though I didn't type in Panda Meal Deal in the, in the initial search, Google might assign more relevancy to Panda Express because of the related searches to this main keyword. This is why it's so, so, so important that instead of going for necessarily keywords or just for searches for high volume and just ranking for a single page or a single keyword, try to rank as an entity. And by entity, I mean rank for something as a brand around that talks about something a lot. If I want to rank for SEO, then I want to have a ton of information that's related to SEO, like SEO basics and SEO keywords and SEO, SEO, you know, SEO everything, right? The more relevancy you can assign to your website and the more engagement you can get around your main keywords, the more general keywords end up usually ranking on your website as well.